Hey everyone, it is Bertrand from the Ask a Recruiter video series, and I wasn't even planning to talk about this topic, but the other day I received a 12-page resume. That is right, a 12-page resume. And I think there's a lot of confusion out there in the marketplace, so to the HAM crowd and to the folks that I'm connected with, I would just like to share this with you. Perhaps you've missed this message, okay? It is told and it's been documented that most folks in a hiring position or at least reviewing applicants spend less than 10 seconds reviewing resumes. So if they had 10 seconds to review a resume, are they gonna spend longer than that reviewing a 12-page resume? I was shocked and surprised and I probably spent more time just to see exactly what was on there, but I saw a lot of the same mistakes that a lot of candidates make. So my recommendation would be to keep it short and sweet, one to two pages, and really to only have relevant experience and bullet points and the positions that you've worked in. Let's say you had a position working as a, a sales associate, right, at TJ Maxx and Marshall, something like that, to list your customer service experience, to list how you dealt with difficult customers. That makes sense to almost any position that you're going in. But talking about restocking shelves and those types of things, if it's not geared toward the job that you are actually applying for and interested in, you can just edit it out. A lot of those things can be talked about during a interview, okay? So that would definitely be my first tip. And the second one, and this is for you, for all of you that you know, definitely need to have that long resume, okay? I have a solution for you today. Keep that one for your face-to-face -face interview or once you are approved to speak with that hiring manager. It's very common for folks to update a resume or to send a longer one just before that phone interview or that face-to-face -face interview so you can let, have them understand the full breadth of your experience if you really want to do that. But I don't necessarily think folks get more money because you have a longer resume or because you have more things detailed. There are nice tools out there like LinkedIn. There are nice tools out there that can help showcase your experience and what you've done and the accomplishments that you have, you have acquired over the years. So I don't believe there's, a, there's a really a big point as to having such a long resume. You'll still get hired if you have a shorter one. So Bertrand from the Astro Recruiter Video Series will talk to, with you again very soon. Bye-bye.